cosmology is really, it's the study of the universe, you know, the laws, the constants, the fine tuning. Uh, it's what scientists do today. It's the observable cosmos. A cosmogony is a theory of the origins of the cosmos. See, cosmology, we can study all these things today. They exist and we can observe them. A cosmogony goes back to the origin of cosmos, and that's where people kind of differ on their approach. You see, it really comes down to philosophical conjecture. There's no science here because we can't recreate it in a laboratory. And really, there's only two cosmogonies today. And what I mean by that is, really, something did it or it did itself. See, everybody agrees now that the universe, the cosmos, had a beginning. Space, time, matter, energy, all came into being all of a sudden, for no apparent reason, out of nowhere. Uh, there was this vacuum fluctuation, or what the mainstream scientists will call a singularity, this infinitely dense blip of matter that all of a sudden started expanding for no apparent reason, and became everything that we see. All the chemical laws, the natural constants, the, the, the chemical properties, and created stars, planets, solar systems like we see them today, and ultimately life. So really, there's just two cosmogonies. Again, something did that, or it did itself. It either popped out of nowhere, for no apparent reason all of a sudden, or something did this. There was a reason. There was a time and there was a place for bringing this all into being. I just read Genesis 1-1 again this morning and I read, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And I saw that as in the beginning, time, God, Elohim, created in the Hebrew bara, created from nothing, the heavens, space, and earth, matter. Same thing that the mainstream scientists seem to be saying. All of a sudden, space, time, matter, energy came into being in this Big Bang and started to expand in everything that we see today. It's just that their cosmogony is, it did itself for no apparent reason, and the other cosmogony is, God did it for a very big and glorious reason.